Hi, and welcome back to Golden Embers Collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. This is going to be for you, Taurus. Uh, message for February. Of course, you know, we do do two messages a month. This is your first. Let's see what we have for you and your other person in regards to love. Thank you guys all so much for the likes, shares, and subscribes. Mm -hmm. All the support that you guys have offered the channel. And don't forget, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know how it resonates for you. Roller coaster. Okay, so you've been going back and forth with this person for a very long time is what it feels like. Mm -hmm. You two, you guys know, you know the, you know the play here is what I just heard. But something happened, shattered chaos. Somebody wants some sort of forgiveness in regards to a situation. Mm -hmm. When something goes wrong between the two of you, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel good. Those aren't the two they want. I did see the bipolar card and being stabbed in the back. So somebody may be changing up on you. Tell me about your other person, Taurus. Taurus's other person, please. Confusion, emotions. Somebody's unclear about what direction they want to choose. They're thinking about that past opportunity with you or something that happened knight in shining armor yeah they love you i mean you two literally you you mirror each other if you really think about it you know your closest energy together though is there's some sort of fight there's some sort of um something that happened okay yeah there was something that was expected i'm pick, i'm picking up on an energy of being online Somebody possibly hitting the like button that they shouldn't have hit, giving someone a heart they shouldn't have given a heart to. Something somewhat petty, but it really, it bothers you a lot, Taurus, okay? This person is trying to come in, you know, and offer you some sort of stability and love here, but you're really all over the place. It's, I think that's how they think about you. Like, you're kind of just all over the place here, okay? Yeah, see, this is upside down. They, they think you're a little out of balance, but you two do marry each other. You're, you're soulmates. Okay. Tell me about Taurus. Taurus, please. Okay. Yeah, Empress. Energy, that's you. That is you. And I just saw the Emperor. Empress and the Emperor. I dropped one. Oh, I gotta put it back. So we have a divine pair here. Tell me what you want Taurus to know, please. Thank you, spirits. What do you want Taurus to know? Queen of Rods. And I did see some Leo energy. So I'm going to say that that's got to do with what's happening now, especially with the sun and Uranus energy. Um, Leo energy is a little at a detriment here. You had a lot of divine feminines here in your energy. A lot of third party energy. Uh, Taurus, you could be messing with three separate people here. You know, you might have someone you're committed to. You're also up and down because there's a fire sign that you deal with on a irregular basis, but pretty consistently. Um, I know that sounds weird, but they're kind of in and out of your life is what it feels like. And then you have shattered chaos here in regards to some sort of finance. Yeah. So, so this empress that you're trying to hold on to, I feel like there's definitely a third party when it comes to feminines. Yeah, this is about relationships here. Something that needs to end. Um, stability. Somebody's releasing something here. Somebody took some action. Uh, you know, I feel like, Taurus, you possibly could have deviated from your normal plan with your person here. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of feminines around you here. Someone you're holding on to. Someone that's causing you heartbreak. Look, and here's the emperor. And then there's a lot of destruction going on regarding finances around this emperor here. Okay. What you're really trying, yeah, it's all about family life. All right, you want things to come to an end, you're really thinking about how to let certain cycles go because this could be generational cycles as well. Needing to move on from those generational cycles, especially since you have these two here, you also have this energy. I feel this is more about what you're choosing and planning to do about this energy, especially when it comes to money. Taurus, 
Taurus. I didn't care. But somebody's trying to control here with bitter energy. Someone is trying to control someone here with bitter energy. I see it. Mm hmm. That's what this soulmate energy is here. Someone. I also feel like someone is just being on this ride and dealing with all of these different people. It's painful for you. Mm -hmm. Just it, the foundation behind it seems a little messed up. Yeah, five of swords in your other person's energy. Look, don't ask me how that happened, but something's not right here. Something's off. There's a lack when it comes to a relationship. Yeah, and you know it too. This other person's confused about what actions they're going to be doing, but this is because of that 12th house energy. Yep. Somebody's keeping secrets about and going back and forth here. Somebody's praying though. Because there's like a there could possibly be some sort of karmic situation here. Not really sure what it is that the divine is trying to protect. Okay. Yeah, so someone's confused here, Taurus, about actions when it involves money. New opportunities, soulmate contracts here, blessings and abundance. Somebody really trying to take this new step forward, but I feel that they know that there's an offer that's coming in that's trying to cause some sort of confusion here. There's definitely an energy around you where I feel other people arguing, but I also feel that there's a, a control here. There's a lack of trust. I'm also seeing lack of integrity between these two, this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Rods. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, Taurus, I feel as if, you know, you feel like you need to take control of this situation. But at this point, whatever happened with this relationship, it's like whatever you need to choose, you need to do it now. You need to hurry up with it. I feel there's a long-term spying energy here because of player ways, especially with this right here. For some of you, there might be some confusion when it revolves around a Sagittarius energy and the wisdom that they're providing here. There's like a, I feel like a karmic energy with that. But there's something that's, whatever that is, the Sagittarian energy is trying to assist you and tell you about intuitively uh, how to, to follow the right path, follow the right direction here for new opportunities and abundance. Yeah, but there's delay. You've got this epiphany that's going to be coming in about this mind games and manipulation with the other person. This action they're going to be taking. You know, if somebody comes in and they're trying to pretend like they want to balance things out with you, you need to be on the lookout. They could just be trying to take from you. You know, they're really keeping secrets about how they're juggling here. And when you do find out about the fact that they're juggling, then they go all out and they go above and beyond to fight with you and cause pains and say, okay, well then we just need to end this. And then they come back in with this new opportunity to try to start over here. But see, and there's something about, you know, you really need to think about whether or not this person is coming in with this offer. If you really want to be with them or not, it's kind of what I feel. There's something, uh, there's, de there's a delay in that, yeah, because somebody's manifesting having their cake and eat it too, right? And they've got multiple options here. This is my, they've got phone numbers card, but in different, er in the same area code. They got different women or somebody has different women here. Someone's trying to manifest what it is that they want by keeping secrets, It's a new cycle for them. Mm -hmm. I feel like for some of you guys, this person feels like they're God's gift. I do see that. But they're going to be delayed when it comes to trying to offer something here because of the mind games and manipulation. It's kind of like they're playing a karmic game in a way. I see a karmic game here. 
with other feminines. Uh -huh. Tell me about Taurus, please. You're looking at how things are going in communication. This is an offer to move very quickly with a divine feminine here. Somebody studying and communicating with a divine feminine. Yeah, possibly about finance here. What someone wants and going back and forth here about stability. Yeah, this could also be about what your livelihood is going to be and what brings you in money. See, your stability here. Yeah, you're trying to balance things out. You're making some sort of offer here. An offer came in. This is a relationship where it's like you're, again, you're trying to take control of this here. And some sort of finance issues. You're, tr you're trying to communicate what are you communicating with this? This offer. Yeah, truth about how something can work out when it comes to finances here with your other person. See, finances here, you're waiting on that. Yeah, Queen of Wands on this side too. Someone that you're happy with. Someone that they're happy with. Yeah, and in love with. Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Yeah, from the past. Somebody's on the defense over here because they've got someone from their past that they love, want to be with, want to work it out with. So that's interesting because they've got player energy around you. They're trying to work it out and manifest good times with you, but it's delayed. And it's delayed because somebody's on the defense possibly about, you know, being a juggling husband. They could have a Sagittarian energy around them that they're making offers to. It's just what it feels like. See? Up and down. There's a Sagittarian here in the middle that's that's kind of, or a fire sign anyway. doesn't have to be a Sagittarius, but it's there's something here in the middle that's causing issues and you're finding out that your person is not loyal or someone here is not loyal yeah because of the cake and eat it too someone's not making a decision to leave someone else alone yep yeah somebody's juggling they're giving to more than one relationship here and it needs to be left alone and apologized if this is real love in a way okay Tell me about Taurus and their other person, please. Ooh, what do you got? Good luck. This is what you guys are manifesting here. Somebody's waiting on love here. All right, I feel like you really do admire this other person. They admire you, but you need to know that there is a player energy here. Somebody's going to be manifesting a new opportunity, but there's delay because spirit wants somebody to do it the correct way. Okay, and that's, I feel like with these cards, that's what you deserve. You deserve good opportunities. You don't need um, someone who's not going to be loyal to you. This is all the things they want you to focus on right now. Divine Feminine, I feel like this message is for you. I feel like they want you to focus on knowing that you are beautiful and you are worth it. You're worth the commitment that you deserve. Okay, you are lovable, right? You deserve that apology. And honestly, leaving somebody out in the cold at this point, you know, taking control of this situation, I, I don't, and waiting for your apology, I don't see anything wrong with that. See? Cutting people off here. Taking action and do what you need to do. I want to see what's in this, uh, your other person's headspace. You know, how they're feeling about you and what their next set of intentions are going to be towards you. Because we do have commitment here at the bottom of the deck. You know, does this person still want to work this out? Because I know there is going to be a delay here. Um, we're also going to look at your headspace as well and see what that information brings up too. Um, so good luck with everything that you guys are striving for and you do have passion. Whatever it is you choose to create, that's what you'll create. There's a lot of love here in this energy. Okay, but I feel like somebody has some choice words about how this is all supposed to work out. Mm-hmm. There, there's somebody also here that's making petty offers. Okay, so that might resonate for some of you. Petty offers are not going to get you anywhere. All right. 
So stay in control of yourself and I will see you guys on the other side over on Vimeo. The extended link is below. Everything you need is right down there. Okay? Peace and elbow grease.